Namaskar brothers and sisters. Today's scripture reflection is taken on the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18 verses 21 to 22. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, not seven times, but I tell you, 77 times. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus here is attempting to teach his disciples the importance of forgiveness. Jesus has just described to them that we should be forgiving each other as often as we could. Jesus uses the term 77 times, but he does not actually mean that we should be forgiving each other exactly 77 times. Nor does he mean that at the 78th instance, we hold that against the other person. What Jesus meant was we need to forgive each other as often as we can. Jesus goes further explaining the importance of forgiveness in the next parable following this passage, the parable of the unforgiving servant. Here Jesus talks about a servant who owes his master a large debt, but when called to repay the debt, which he cannot repay, the servant begs for forgiveness, and the master in mercy and compassion allows the servant more time to repay the debt. However, the servant upon leaving the master's house meets a colleague who owns him a large debt and this unforgiving servant picks up his colleague, throws him into jail until the colleague can repay the debt, showing him no mercy or compassion. Now the master recalls the servant on hearing this and he is extremely angry with the servant and tells the servant that he shall be tortured until the servant can repay his debt as he did not show the same mercy and compassion to his colleague. Jesus ends the parable, parable by saying that the Father in heaven will do the same to us if we do not forgive our brothers and sisters from our hearts, as in true forgiveness. Forgiveness is an extremely important part of our faith. And Jesus has tried to explain this through various ways and means. Now, God our Father, who, in whose image we are made, is full of love, he is full of mercy, he is full of compassion. And just as he shows us such forgiveness, such mercy and such compassion, so we too are expected to do the same to our fellow brethren. In doing so, we would be living the lives that God our Father intends for us all. Now forgiveness is important because it is a huge part of unconditional love, which is the crux of our faith. What is unconditional love? Unconditional love is when we accept one another despite whatever faults, whatever things that we have done wrong, we accept each other as they are. The other person does not have to earn our love, but we give it without reservation. So you can see how important forgiveness is as a part of unconditional love. Because without forgiveness, we would not be able to love unconditionally. So we need to forgive each other as much and as often as we can extending unconditional love to each other and in doing so we would be well on our way to living on the path of righteousness as God intends for all of us. So important is forgiveness that Jesus also included it in the prayer that he taught us all, the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us so important so we need to pay attention to this 
very important teaching of Christ and try to inculcate forgiveness in the way that we live. There is no space for hatred in our lives. There has to be only space for love. And to forgive each other is to love. And just as we do that to each other, so also the Father does for us. So today, let us pause a while and think about all that we have done to offend the Father. And then think about all those who we hold something against, all those who have hurt us. And then we shall pray the Our Father together, asking God for the grace to forgive each other and asking God our Father to forgive our sin. Let us take a few moments to think about all that we have done or failed to do and also think about all those who we hold something against and then let us ask our father for grace when praying the our father to him. take a few moments brothers and sisters and think about these things Let us now pray the Our Father together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. May God's grace be with you, brothers and sisters, and may you lead lives of peace, joy, and love. May God bless you all. Thank you and God bless.